Hello, it is uh, Wednesday? Wednesday. Anyway, horrible things have happened last week and the internet is trying to talk about it. Ugh. So let's take a look at that. Well, it's gonna be the future soon and I won't always be this way When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away So I want to talk just to a few groups kind of individually that I've noticed as I've been going through internet stuff. First of all, ban all guns, people. Uh, listen. Alright, I, I get it, okay? Uh, terrible things have happened and we have as a society, fairly easy access to the implements that make hurting each other pretty damn easy. But listen, uh, that's not a reasonable goal. When you go straight for the extreme well, uh, the let's just get rid of all of it thing, that doesn't make you look good, and it's not something that A, could feasibly be done, uh, and B, not a lot of good historical precedent for prohibiting things in America, honestly. Alcohol. That went swimmingly. Drugs. Oh, we're doing good on that one, right? Oh, banning basically any sort of homosexual behavior. That, that went well. So as facile as the argument sounds, the people who say that, you know, the people who will try to get guns, uh, who want to get them, will still get them, they kind of have a point. Uh, not to mention, we're kind of on the cusp of, like, 3D printing guns. In fact, some people have, like, very basic, at least will fire once, prototypes, that kind of stuff. It, it's gonna happen. Like, it's even, you know, point, click, and then shoot. That's just, that's the world we have. To be able to have a, a serious dialogue about this, we have to be able to talk reasonably. So don't just go for the, let's get rid of everything. It just, it keeps us from moving forward. You need to be able to listen to the people who disagree with you and talk about actions that could be taken. Next, NRA people. All right, listen. You are not Charlton Heston, okay? He is dead. And the other side is not trying to pry your guns out of your cold, dead hands. Like I said to them, there are serious discussions that we need to be able to have about regulation, about responsibility, about accountability, and you know that. Every serious gun person I know is also a serious safety nut, all right? It's just when government people bring it up that, that everyone goes all red dawn or whatever. And the whole, the whole guns don't kill people, yeah, all right. Mm. Yeah, sure. Guns don't kill people. But bullets fired from guns make it really easy to kill people from, like, great distances and sometimes extraordinary speed. So can we drop the, the bullshit platitudes? Because it just turns into plugging your ears and saying, no, 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 I'm not listening. And as I said to them, not helpful. Okay, the other side isn't fascists, no matter what you may think. And you are not crazy people, no matter what they think. Or you just look that way to each other. You want to help gun rights? You want to improve the way that firearms are looked upon in society? My recommendation would be to stop supporting the NRA for as long as they insist on being paranoia-engendering obstructionist jackasses. I went hunting with my dad when I was a kid. I went shooting with my friends in Springfield. And when I get back to America and have some kind of money, I will own some sort of firearm. I would like to get a handgun because then I could be like, you know, Spike Spiegel or Rick Deckard. Vicky and I will have to sort this out sometime later though because she would rather a long gun. We'll deal with that because we're f***ing adults. But I believe in the Second Amendment. It's not my favorite, the first is my favorite. And yet, the NRA can still bite me because I hate few things more than I hate people who try to talk about important issues badly. Okay, next. Mental health. One of the positive discussions that I've seen coming out of this whole thing is on the topic of mental health. Specifically on the dearth of, of quality, affordable care available in America, as well as, you know, shining a light on the stigma that is still put upon, you know, people who suffer from mental illnesses. Except, somehow people have still found a way to get, like, really negative and defensive on this issue, specifically in regard to people with mental illnesses in prison. Alright, listen. Nobody, or at least nobody reasonable, is saying that people with mental illnesses become criminals. What we're saying is that look at the numbers of people in prison with mental illnesses, alright? 
This is what a failed system looks like. So it's not about judgment, it's about saying, look at how messed up things are. How do we prevent the future from still being like this? So calm down, we're trying to be cool here. The people who say that we need to not focus on the shooter, the whole not really Morgan Freeman quote thing, uh, you have a good point. Like, I'm with you, but... I, I mean, we don't want them to be famous, but... But we still need to, like, analyze and understand how society and biology come together to create such a horrible situation and to cause somebody to behave in such a deplorable way. What with the murdering? I don't know. I mean, there's not an easy answer on that one. We have to talk, because talking, understanding, analyzing, this is how we fix problems in society. But, I mean, how do you do that without also drawing like the a kind of attention that makes copycats. I, I don't know. Unfortunately, we just have to keep talking about it until we figure it out. Sometimes there's just not an easy, good solution. Actually, no, I'd scratch that. There is never an easy, simple solution. The world is complicated. Oh, and the last one. Religious people. Well, no, that's not fair. People who think that lack of religion in schools causes shootings. No, that's still not right. Pretty much just Mike Huckabee. At least I hope so, because if other people honestly believe that, that's, that's really disconcerting. Alright, look, listen. People cannot have religion and still not murder people. Because, hi. Hello, my name is Thaddeus. I don't have a religion. And I'm fine. I've never murdered anyone even once. Alright? I, as far as I can understand from my observations of the world and the universe and the data available, I'm pretty sure that humanity is just a result of the laws of physics over a really long period of time. I'm, I feel like uh, once I die, I will be dead for the rest of time. Uh, nothing else will occur in regard to me. And that doesn't make me feel like I need to get what's mine by killing everyone else because I still have empathy, all right? I don't want to hurt anyone else. I don't want other people to hurt me. You know, the, this brief little bit of life that I may have, insignificant though it may be in size compared to the grand scale of the universe, is still the only time I get to exist. All right? And no, I, I don't believe there are you know, mystical cosmic powers. If I see evidence of that, then maybe I will change my mind. But until then, I'm perfectly comfortable feeling cosmically insignificant and yet comforted by the fact that I am the only this Thaddeus there will ever be. And I still want to be good to other people and people to be good to me. So, yeah. How about we shut that down? Just not ever do that again, because that's horrible. There are lots of people with different religions than whatever Mike Huckabee's is, and there are a lot of people who don't have religions who are just perfectly fine people. All right, let's discuss real problems. Any of the stuff we talked about before, trying to have a serious conversation about guns in society, the way that we treat them, the way that we educate people about them, uh, and the way that government and gun ownership interact, we need to talk about those, not yell at each other about them, talk about them. We need to talk about mental health. We need to take a look at the way that we treat, uh, as a society, the way that we treat, well, murderers, and uh, maybe not make them look so heroic and yet still be able to study them. Yeah, that one, I, that one's hard to get a handle on. Anyway, so that's all the stuff that's been rattling around in my head about this shooting thing. Sorry if this is all just kind of a bleh, but I think that's all for me for the moment. Hmm. Yeah. See you in the future.